Andrew Garfield, who stars in a powerful new movie. It is called Breathe. It's the true story of Robin Cavendish, who contracted polio at 28 years old, leaving him paralyzed and unable to breathe on his own. But with help and inspiration from his wife and son, Robin went on to inspire millions. Look who's here. Hey, you got me. Oh. Jonathan. It's Daddy. Hello, Jonathan. Hello, dear boy. Oh. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. Just, that, <laughs> just that. Pass the tissues. Wow. You know what's amazing too? So that was Jonathan, mm -hmm. Robin's son, and yes. his wife Diana, mm -hmm. who are still with us. Mm -hmm. And Jonathan's actually a producer on this film. It's Jonathan's story. He is our sole producer and the kind of the catalyst and the driving force behind this film being made and having his parents' story, um, you know, make even more ripples in the world than than they have previously. They're really remarkable people. It is a beautiful story mm. and I would imagine it would have lots of acting challenges as well because mm. your character obviously contracts polio yeah. and there's so much that has to go on right here in the yeah. eyes and mm. the expressions, right? Well, uh, we, able-bodied yeah. people, if we have an impulse to hug each other, we get to do that yeah. if it's consensual hugging. Um, yeah. But it was with someone who, of course, in Robin's situation, you know, his body wasn't able to follow those impulses so the only part of his body that could express itself was his face and his eyes. So he was able to express so much. Yeah, he was. He loved life so much. This man. Yeah. And he loved people. He loved connecting with people. And he wasn't not ever going to let um, paralysis stop him from being as in life as possible. So it all went into his face. He became very, very active in the, mm -hmm. and, un, and not self-conscious at all in how his face was moving he was because he was so longing to let people know how he was feeling yeah. all the time I love the title of the movie breathe because in some sense it's quite literal because yeah. this is about a breathing machine that mm -hmm. enabled Robin to leave the hospital something that was unheard of then mm -hmm. but also how he breathed that he just continued to breathe he continued mm -hmm. to live even in spite of these harrowing circumstances. Yeah, and actually I, I, I love that and I love how every breath was a miracle mm -hmm. from, from the paralysis onwards. He, he was told he wasn't going to live very long, but he ended up living for decades and created this incredible life and not only an incredible life for himself, but for other disabled patients around the world. And I love that idea that they were living um, on the cusp of potential death every day. Mm -hmm. like every, every breath could have been Alive. His last, wow. and therefore it made life so much more miraculous and meaningful. We had Claire uh, Claire Foy on your yeah. co-star the other day, and I was struck by your chemistry. We were talking about how it seemed like you guys had known each other for such a long time, yeah. but you actually just met. It's a strange from this thing. Film. Yeah. Do you ever have that when you meet someone you feel like, oh, we've known each yeah. other? Yeah. With, in, not in this realm, hmm. but somewhere in the in somewhere else. There's like a a soul connection that happens just immediately, and it's a, it's rather scary <laughs> yeah. and kind of don't know what to do with it a little bit but thankfully it was very useful because it, it meant that we could you know in, try to encapsulate the incredible true love that Robin and Diana really had for each other. I loved reading about you Andrew because of course you're an Oscar nominee and people yes are talking about an Oscar for this role for this performance but you at a time in high school I read that you were kind of wondering what to do and, mm -hmm. sure, and it was your mom who said why don't you take some drama <laughs> yeah. classes and I just I loved reading that because yeah. it's like moms just know don't they? <laughs> How did she know that this is going to be your thing? Yes you'll have to ask her she really did she does and mothers do tend to know. Um, yeah, I don't know. I think, um, she, you know, it's that symbiotic bond, mm -hmm. you know, you know. I was in her womb once, and, and <laughs> she, so, you know, so, so she knew better than I did. Um, but there was, it was a really good time, that fallow time, actually, as a teenager, where I was quite depressed, actually. I was quite sad, and I didn't really understand the meaning of all this insanity that we call life, and mm -hmm. I think I kind of didn't know really where to go. I think that's the experience of lots of teenagers, right? Yeah. yeah. And I think because I, I really let other things go, the right thing was able to come in because I created space for it and yeah. then I realized oh yeah actually this feels really 
rather yeah. good. Well, we're very grateful to your mother yeah. oh, for encouraging God. you. Oh, well, she'll be happy to hear. I also <laughs> loved hearing that you had a job at Starbucks, yes. My first which job. is so amazing. <laughs> when we Starbucks like triple latte, here I you was, go. Oh, it was the most romantic time of my life. <laughs> it was when Starbucks wasn't, you know, this, you know, this multinational yeah. kind of corporation, <laughs> and it was just like this random little coffee house yeah. where, where I felt incredibly mysterious and wasn't at all. <laughs> but it was a very romantic uh, time in mm. Golders Green in North London. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it was so a good time. Thank you, thank Andrew. you, Andrew. And oh, the movie is called you. Breathe. It opens tomorrow. Hello, today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there, and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.